Hello, hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Chaos Wolf here, and welcome to Fractured Space. Now, I'm assuming that most of you will actually know what uh, this game is about, but for those of you that uh, are unaware, what this game is, is it's pretty much been billed originally as uh, World of Tanks in Space. Its original uh, tester name, well not test name, the placeholder name that it had previously was World of Starships, or World of Spaceships, something along those lines anyway. But it has now been known in its proper release name as Fractured Space. It is a team-based online game where you take your a team of so many sh spaceships and you go and capture bases and destroy the enemy team. And I've got to say that I've been enjoying this game so far. I haven't had much of a chance to play it because um, I jumped in fairly late on the uh, the free weekend that it that recently ran for this game. Um, it's been in development for a little while now, and uh, it has been covered by other YouTubers such as the Mighty Jingles himself. So I'd recommend going to check his videos out on this. But uh, I've had f a lot less experience with this game so far. But I'm going to share with you what I've had to to see so far. Um, now, as to the uh, free weekend that uh, recently finished. Uh, as I said, I jumped into it fairly late. So I didn't have much chance to do anything in the last couple of days. But uh, what happened was, if you uh, joined on this free weekend you actually were given free access to, well, free early access to the game. So I do actually have full uh, early access to this game now, which is absolutely amazing. And I am planning to be covering this game a little bit more. But let me know in the comments whether or not you want to see more of this or not, because um, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be of interest to you. But if not, let me know. But anyway, as to the free weekend that happened, Edge Case Games, the company that's actually developing this uh, this title, were hoping to uh, basically gain 15,000 more subscribers, and that was their top end goal for the uh, the event. And what happened is they were they had a couple of tiers of giveaways, depending on which. Uh, what tiers were hit? Everybody, if you took if you took part in it just for taking part, you got uh, Captain Jingles as a DLC for your ship. It's not available at the moment, but will be made available uh, as of May. And uh, I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be hilarious. But uh, if they hit five thousand new players, they you got uh, three new skins for each of the ships. I think it was. I think it was for each of the ships. I'm not 100% certain on this. This is all second-hand information. I will point out. I got all this from Mingles with Jingles <laughs> because I don't know where to find this information myself. So uh, apologies for uh, ripping off the uh, information there, Mr. Jingles. I do hope you will forgive me. Um, after that, they had the next tier, which was 10,000 uh, 10, new, uh, new players. And for that, you were going to get a legendary Titan defense ship uh, of the community's choice. I don't know exactly what ship that's going to be or what class of ship that's going to be specifically because, like I said, I haven't played that much in the game yet. I will uh, update this when I actually get a little bit more familiar with the game. Uh, after 15,000 subscribers, that ship that you get will become a premium ship, which uh, all the participants will get. So uh, I will be getting one of those myself, and those of you who actually uh, took part in the free weekend will also get all this. So with that ship becoming premium, you get more XP, you get more credits, it's a win-win. But um, like I said, they were hoping for 15,000 subscribers, uh, not subscribers, 15,000 new players. And what happened is by Saturday morning, they were on 190,000. So, <laughs> with like when I was, the, what happened is uh, when I first started playing, I jumped into the first game on Sunday. And the, or was it Saturday? I can't remember. It was either Saturday or Sunday I jumped in. First game I jumped in and the servers crashed. <laughs> they were really not expecting such a stampede. 
to get into their uh, game. And we pretty much know where all this came from. We're looking at you, Mr. Jingles. <laughs> but yeah, because of this, they're actually... Uh, they were so blown away by the uh, the support that they got over this weekend that they decided to work on some extra content to give away. We've got no no information about what this is yet, or at least I don't. But uh, as soon as I know, or as soon as anybody else knows, I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure that uh, I'll let you guys know. So, like I said, now I have f access to this game. So, like I said, I'm going to be covering it a bit more. And uh, which is going to be great because we want to get as much support for this game as possible because it is uh, it doesn't have a publisher it's self publicised and self published on Steam so it's uh, it's a bit more of an uphill struggle it seems to me like it's the same kind of deal with uh, the difference between Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen Star Citizen has a bigger publisher uh, Elite Dangerous didn't. So it's it seems like the same kind of th same kind of thing for me, and I want to get on board with this. Okay, so let's take a bit of a look at the game itself. First of all, when you start up, you will be greeted with the hub. Uh, to start with, we have the section here, which is all the some news, some uh, social networking stuff. So that's kind of interesting to look at every so often. Uh, we have the how to play, the controls, and the tutorials. That's kind of nice. Uh, we've also they've also got uh, their own Teamspeak server. Now I only joined this one very briefly, but I saw a lot of players on there from all around the world. Not only that, but they do have sections for Q and A and uh, development chat. So it does seem like you can actually go there to talk to the uh, developers of the game and set times. Perhaps I'm not sure when. Uh, here we have uh, the link to the different uh, rewards for that free weekend, and then the patch notes. But uh, let's have a look in the hangar at the moment. And here we have the ship that I am most used to at the moment, the flagship. I've tried playing the other ships briefly, but uh, I suck slightly less in this one than I do in the others. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I like this ship. Uh, it's slow, it's big, it's sturdy. I like this ship. Kind of reminds me of my uh, Federal Drop ship somewhat. But uh, no, it is a very nice little ship, is this one. It's, uh, it's designed to uh, take hits and deal good hits back. Uh, we also have... Here we go, we have the Hunter. Now this ship feels to me like uh, I'm not sure how. Well, be honest, I'm not sure how this ship really works. Um, it's got a blink drive, so you can jump forward to try and get closer to the targets, or run away, or jump behind cover, maybe. But I've never really managed to get the most out of them, this uh, ship. I don't think it really kind of gels well with my playstyle. But uh, as I said, I've only played a couple of games in each of these ships. So uh, I haven't had uh, much of a chance. And here we have the Titan Corvette. Now this ship I haven't played at all, but uh, I know roughly what it is. It's a support ship. Uh, what it does is it can fire off um, healing beams that actually repair your... Uh, not your ship, but ships of your teammates. So it's almost like uh, a healer ship of some description. Um, I'm pretty sure it has other features. It says down here it can fight, it can leech health health from other ships and so on, but I'm not exactly sure how that works. But let's go back to the flagship and let's have a look at the tech tree, so to speak. Because uh, we can go to change loadout. Uh, you can see that I've played this ship a little bit because I've managed to upgrade a few bits on this. So let's close that down. And let's have a look at the crew. So let's have a look at the crew. This is my crew. We have uh, Captain Evan Sterling. I, much, I really like the way he sounds. Let's go, let's go have a listen to him. I've seen enough combat to know you need me. <laughs> right. We've got, also got the pilot. And we've got uh, Gregory Durov. 
I like the way he sounds over the uh, the alternate because you have you have two, at the moment we have a choice of two for each of these different uh, roles in the ship. We have two pilots, two captains, two tactical, two comms, and two engineers. I chose these because these are the ones that I like either the sound of them or I like what bonuses they bring because each of your crew give you some different bonuses. You get two bonuses and one and one uh, negative. So two positives and one negative bonus. So I chose Evan Sterling because I like the sound of him. Gregory, I chose him because I like the sound of him. Uh, Cornelius, I like him because he reminds me of Ronan Dex from Stargate Atlantis. Uh, the comms officer, didn't really know either way which one to go, so I went for the best, the best options. And uh, the engineer I chose because she reminds me of uh, the uh, the mechanic from Firefly. I forget her name. Uh, let me know in the comments if you actually know. But uh, let's have a listen to it. Me and Shep, we get on. They talk to me. T tell me you don't hear that. <laughs> but what happens is you can actually create your own. You start off with two different uh, crew configurations. You have the mercenaries and you have the renegades. Uh, I deleted both of those and made my own because you can actually create your own one, and I named it the Wolf Pack. I only thought I thought it was only fitting. Uh, you can hire crew, and this is where you would get more crew members from. I'm assuming they are going to be microtransactions. I'm not sure. It'll be more DLC and so on. But here you can see the rest of the crew. You've got both the captains, both the comms, both the engineers, both the pilots, and both the tactical. Uh, we haven't got anything coming soon, but this will be where uh, Captain Jingles will be uh, featured. So, looking forward to that. And let's have a look at the actual proper tech tree itself, because we can go from the ship that I'm in now, the flagship, I can jump over to either uh, this, the Disruptor, the Sniper, or the Brawler. But... Um, I've not gone for any of those yet, because I'm still working my way to understanding the flagship itself. Like I said, I've not played that many great that many games. Currently I'm on about less than 10. But uh, anyway, that's how this looks at the moment. We've got we can go from the uh, Zadek Indust Industrial, the Hunter, to either the Enforcer or the Frigate. Again, I don't know what these do. I haven't really looked and uh, in the Titan Defense Forces uh, we've got the Corvette, and that can go either to the Reaper or the uh, Equalizer. Again, not sure what they do. I will look into them in a later video, I think. But at the moment, it seems that uh, United Space Research are the only ones to have any Tier 3 ships, but I'm not sure if these have actually been uh, technically implemented yet. But we'll see. Uh, but that's enough of me uh, wittering on about the UI and uh, the hub. Let's go and have a look at some gameplay. Now, I have only really played any games in the flagship, but uh, let's go and have a look at those. So, at the beginning of the match, we jumped, decided to jump over to the alpha side of the map. And uh, just starting off capping one of these uh, little mini bases. Now, as you can see, we've got two enemy uh, ships moving in. They're the same ship as me. Now, we have started engaging now, and you can see that that flagship is actually firing its missiles off in my general direction. You see missiles coming in, and I'm firing at him, but uh, not sure if I'm technically in range or not yet. Well, we're firing at him, we're firing off our missiles, and we're using our point defences and trying to disable him. But there's another mechanic that is in uh, Fractured Space that is not in uh, games like World of Tanks or Elite Dangerous. And what it is is they have armour. And you can see that my armour has let me down and I've been basically focused down by the vast majority of the enemy team. So we got destroyed, respawned and now we're coming back to try and stem the tide. Because as you can see on the mini-maps down the bottom right that I am here alone against pretty much the entire enemy team. But we've managed to take out one 
of the enemy flagships and now I'm focusing on one of the uh, not, I can't remember the name of that ship, but it's one of the uh, the blink drive ships, the one that can jump jump around. And there we go. Now he's, he's blinked away. Now you can see little explosions on the side of my ship, on the top of my ship. Now what that indicates is that my, I have lost armor on that part of the ship. So if they hit me where those uh, explosions are happening, I am going to be taking a lot more damage. And so we don't want that. So. I'm turning my uh, my side, my other side to them, but I'm pretty much uh, lost armor all over this ship now. So it's uh, not long until I am uh, <laughs> blown up again. And you can see that uh, ship in the background firing off its green beams, which were healing beams. And naturally, I didn't have anything because I was there by myself. And again, I am here by myself again. Uh, firing on this uh, enemy uh, flagship. And you can see that I fired a little green beam at it and what that was was my secondary function. I just disabled its drives for about five seconds to let me get a bit closer. And I'm firing missiles off, firing my flak at it, but uh, I'm not quite in range for the flak. There we go, we just got in range for the flak. And we tried to disable his engines again, but we missed, so he's still moving off. But we'll fire our missiles into him, fire the flak, and you can see by his health bar that he's going down quite quickly. It's one of the things I really like about this ship is that it deals a lot of damage very quickly with just its main flak batteries. So pretty soon we're going to be taking this guy out completely. And there we go, we've gotten rid of him, we're taking him. Uh, but there is another one around the corner, and he is going to get some uh, some support pretty soon. And what happens is they end up blowing me up. So, we don't want to see that, we're moving on. Uh, what's happening now is that they've, as you can see by the minimap, they, the enemy team are controlling a lot of the, uh, the, the, the resources on the field. They're controlling pretty much everything, and uh, that's allowing them to attack our base. So I've jumped back to our base to try and defend it, but uh, I'm not doing too well, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I mean, we've just been uh, we've gotten some upgrades because what happens is um, the more resources you control the more you can actually upgrade your ship. So that's... Uh, the more you upgrade your ship, the more damage you do, the more functions you're going to have in your ship. And right now, they are just doing an all-out attack on our base because they're controlling the vast majority of everything and our team... In this match, the team was not exactly coordinated. It's, it's, it's like random battles. In World of Tanks, you can't really expect much to uh, to happen. But again, they're still trying to cap our base. They they're pretty much succeeded right now. So this is just a losing battle at the moment. But uh, it's been pretty much uh, par for the course of how I've been. <laughs> <laughs> been playing at the moment. I've not played many matches and I've only won one of them, but sadly I wasn't recording at the time. Now I would like to uh, claim to be a lot better at this game than I actually am, but sadly I'm not right now. I'm actually quite crap. But uh, I don't expect much more considering that uh, I have only just started the game. But all we can do is try and take out this uh, last flagship and stop it from uh, capping. Because at the moment, because we're do doing damage to it, we stopped it from capping. But then the inevitable happened and the enemy team just rushed our base. At the moment, it is very similar to World of Tanks where you do, ju you do just cap the enemy's base. You'll be taking a little bit of damage from the enemy's base. 
but it is just capping it. But that again, at the moment, is just placeholder and mechanics. They are eventually going to have it where you have to actually attack the base. But as you can see, we died, we, we, we lost. I did fairly well, I got five kills. I died five times as well, but that's not surprising. Um, I captured two sections by myself, and I'm not sure what the uh, the A stands for. I'll have to find out. But like I said, I'm a complete noob at this game at the moment. I'm a complete novice. <laughs> but I am looking forward to, um, to playing more of this game and actually learning more of it. Now, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. If so, please do consider hitting that like button, because it really does help the channel out. And it'll also let me know as to whether or not you actually want to see more Fractured Space on my channel. Now, also, in order to join the Wolfpack, please do hit that big subscribe button uh, to get uh, updates from whenever I release new videos. And remember, Commanders and Captains as well now, keep flying and stay shiny.